Okay, next, we'll talk about the overall strategy for the model. So you can see here on this graph, there's two, two axes about performance and emotion. Um, we really think that, you know, looking at our lineup, uh, especially with the launch of the TLX uh, in the spring, you know, we improved the emotional uh, characteristics of that vehicle. But we always felt that the RLX, you know, really had a lot of great driving dynamics and performance, but the styling and emotion just wasn't there. So for 2018, that was our focal point, focusing on design through our precision crash performance design language, and we really think we upped the notch uh, for RLX. Now we'll quickly talk about the overall market. Um, as many of you know, um, obviously CUVs, SUVs are all the rage these days. That's what's selling, so you hear. But, you know, let's, let's be honest, there's still a, a very um, concise and specific customer for these premium mid-size sedans. We know this through customer research and data and clinics, and, you know, we always hear over and over that that sedan buyer is looking for a level of performance and dynamics that you can't get in a CUV. So uh, we still think that's a, a, a very important market for us to target. When you look at that across the entire segment, the RLX um, lives in the mid-premium size sedan segment. Now this is an IHS forecast over the next five years going through uh, 2022. Um, you see there is a slight decline there, um, but we know that this is still a, a vital segment, not only for us, but for others. Um, you can see these are some of the key competitors in those segments, uh, the Lexus GS, uh, Infiniti Q70, Audi A6, and of course uh, uh, BMW 5 Series and Mercedes E-Class. So next we'll talk about trims and features for 2018. You can see on the left here is the trim structure for 2017. We actually have four trims, um, two for precision auto steer and two for sport hybrid. Um, but what we've done for 2018 is we've really increased the value proposition and we've made it a much simpler structure. So there's two options. You're either going to start with our entry precision auto steer at 54,900 and that'll be the bulk of our sales or you're gonna step up to the sport hybrid trim with all of our great advanced features. Um, as you saw in the pricing announcement, as we mentioned yesterday as well, um, we've brought down the MSRP over $4,000. Um, so essentially, you know, previously we were selling about 13% of our sport hybrid trims, um, but we're estimating to, to triple that and actually sell 40% of our sales based on that trim. And if you clearly look across, I mean, we were selling 30% um, with the same level of equipment, but with our two-wheel drive precision all-way steer. So we think those customers will easily want to jump up to the Sport Hybrid. Um, here's all the detailed features um, by trim. Again, off to the left here is the precision all-wheel steer. Uh, again, V6, 310 horsepower, 10-speed automatic transmission. Um, the entire suite of AccuraWatch uh, assistive technologies is standard. And then if you look to the right is the uh, RLX Sport Hybrid, again, starting at 61,900, but you get the NSX Supercar DNA, three motor Sport Hybrid system, 377 horsepower, and 341 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, also, again, I'll quickly go back to the colors. As I mentioned, there's a lot of new color options for 2018, um, but as I mentioned, um, two of our um, colors, the Brilliant Red Metallic and Majestic Black Pearl, are now high quality multi clear coat paints and we'll be uh, charging an additional $400 for those two options. So what we've done again by bringing down that price we've really improved the value proposition and we're just offering way more than any of the competitors out there. And when you look at that across the board it's very very clear. At our starting price and really our only price because all the features are included um, we outclass the uh, competitors in performance you can see that by the uh, horsepower and torque numbers. We're the only ones to offer true torque vectoring, especially electric torque vectoring in this segment. Um, we're the only ones that make our suite of safety technologies uh, standard, and there's no other competitor that offers traffic jam assist in this segment. And uh, finally, our overall advantage on price is clear, so we think we offer more performance, more content, more technology at a lower price. That's it. So the vehicle uh, just went on sale yesterday when you guys arrived, uh, November 7th. Um, this is the only Acura model that's uh, designed, developed, and built in Japan. Uh, it's built at our uh, Sayama uh, factory in Japan, one of our oldest uh, factories with uh, you know, 40, 50 years of experience. So you'll notice that in the build quality of this vehicle is very well um, made. So uh, again, thank you. Uh, really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the drive. I'm